All right, let's practice graphing linear functions, okay? So I like to think of this sort of as a treasure hunt, a map, okay? So when we do this, we have to look for clues, okay? So it says, which graph shows this function? Y equals X plus 2, okay? So Y will represent the red dot, okay, on either graph, okay? X would be the variable plus 2, okay? So the first one would be Y equals X plus 2. Well, let's look. Does this Y axis have a red dot on the 2? It doesn't. It goes on the 1. So most likely that is not our answer. So let's look over here. Does this one have a dot going on the 2? Because that would be 0 plus 2 equals y. So that means that y equals 2. So that means this is our answer. Okay, next one. This time it's y equals x minus 2. Okay, so if we have x minus 2, which side would work? Hmm, x minus 2. So if I do So we would have to think of the y-axis. So if I say that x equals 5, for example, okay? So if I say 5 minus 2 equals 3, that means that y equals 3. So the x-axis would be 5, and the y-axis would be 3. So that means that this first one is my answer. Next one y equals x plus 1. Okay, we can kind of take the hint from the first problem we did. So if I have x equals 0, that would be 0 plus 1, which equals 1. So y equals 1. Okay, which graph has where y equals 1? This one has y equals 2. This one has y equals 1. So it has to be that one. Okay, next one. X plus 1 equals Y. Okay, we're going to do the same sort of thing. So I'm going to make X be 0 plus 1 equals 1. So Y equals 1. Do I have 1 over here on the Y axis? Yes. Do I have 1 over here on the Y axis? No. So that means my answer has to be that one. We're looking for clues, okay? This one, y and x are the same number. So for example, that's saying that y is 1 and x is 1, or y is 2 and x is 2. So which one shows that? It's this one. It goes right in a diagonal, in fact. Okay, this one says x minus 1. Okay, so let's make x2, for example. So if I make x2, x minus 1 equals 1. So that's our x. And then y equals 1. So which one shows x2, y1? x2, y1, right here. So that means this first one is our answer. You just have to kind of plug in a number and see what works. You're kind of guessing and checking with what works, okay? This time we have y equals x. So like the other one, that could be 1 equals 1, 2 equals 2, 5 equals 5. It doesn't matter, but the y and the x are the same. Which one of those would be represented with that? That's this one. Okay. This time we have x plus 1, okay? So if we have x plus 1, let's just make x 1, okay? So we can do 1 plus 1. That's x, okay? 
equals 2. So that means y equals 2. So where which graph shows x as 1, y as 2 plotted? x as 1, y as 2. That one works. x as 1, y as 2. That works. Okay. So both work with both graphs. Let's try another another example. Okay. This time, let's make x 2. Okay. So this time, x is 2. Okay. 2 plus 1 equals 3. So that means y equals 3. So which graph shows 2 for x, 3 for y? Does this show 2x, 3y? No. Does this show 2x, 3y? Yes. So that means that's our answer. Okay. X equals Y, which means the X and the Y axis numbers are the same. 1 equals 1, 5 equals 5, 4 equals 4. Which graph represents that? This one. Good job. Let's do one more. Y equals X again. Which one shows X and Y sharing the same number on the graph? The first one. Excellent job. 